respect and recognition always seems to come down to postseason success, right? Playoff success. It's so true, Kevin, whether it's fair or not. Great production in the regular season without having accompanying success in the postseason tends to get written off. So the pressure falls on teams to win or risk losing their star players. And for the Warriors. In the wings, they'll go with Curry and Thompson. Jonathan Kaminga out there with Green. And it's Paul in at the one spot. Hendricks passes to Markinen. Amon Green with the rebound. Green's got six rebounds now in the game. Here's Kaminga. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. I think you pay the consequences. If you leave Draymond Green's teammates open, he has a knack for getting the basketball where it needs to be. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Utah? Nothing free about free throws. You earn your way to the line and give credit to these guys for being aggressive offensively. I think the other thing we're seeing tonight is the floor spacing of this team. Boy, they awesome. are shooting the cover off the basketball all game. That free throw good from Kaminga. And here's Clarkson. It's a five-point game. Outside Cowan. And no good. The try spell continuing for him. Here's Thompson. That shot is off. Excellent D there from Markinen. To the paint. Here's Clarkson. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Well, Jordan Clarkson could be a little bit streaky at times, but right now this guy is on fire. Here's Curry. Rebound, Utah. Hendricks has got 11 rebounds in the game. Right side, George. Here's Hendricks. Defended by Kaminga. Yes, that goes in. And now it's a nine-point Jazz lead. Yeah, and that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Green left side. Here's Curry. Back to Green. Six on the shot clock. And there's Stephen Curry on the assist from Green. Green's got his eighth assist here tonight. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. And the Jazz call time here. LDB, the Jazz have managed to stay competitive while going into a rebuild. Kevin, you've got to give Utah credit. That is not an easy task. They have managed to amass a great deal of first-round picks and young talent and still remain focused on winning. Truly incredible. And now let's present our new balance player of the game. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp. And his touch from the field, flawless. The, the teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions. And boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. 
time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldrich. David. Thanks, guys. Able to listen in on Will Harvey's huddle with his team. He told them, don't look at the scoreboard. We have to play like we're tied. They want their team to sustain that level of effort, and we'll see how it works out. Kevin? Okay, David, thanks. First one drops. And right now at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Warriors trail by seven. Murray finds Green. Here's Paul. The pass to Kaminga. To the inside, Thompson. Thompson hammers it down. Nice little run here to shrink that deficit. But can they get over the hump? Yeah, it feels like they've ramped up their intensity. They have forced good things to happen. Now they're back in it. George passes to Collins. Clarkson outside. Buries the long range jumper. Clarkson's got a couple of three pointers now in the fourth for the Jams. Curry, wide open to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Utah leading by eight. Bobbed up there for Collins. An emphatic L.U. jam. A wise pass right there by the rookie George. Solid at finding open teammates. Curry with it. He's picked up by Collins for the three. Warriors getting another chance here. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Utah called for the foul. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Well, you love just the versatility of Draymond Green's game. He can score it, he can pass it, he can board it, and we know he's one of the elite defenders in the NBA. He's perfect from the line this time. And the Jazz call time here. Look at him. He saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset.
here's Sensible. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Eight-point game. Curry through traffic. Count it! Oh! Well, don't underestimate Curry because of his size. This guy does a great job absorbing contact and still finishing. Pass to Sensible. We've got 148 left here in the fourth quarter. Moves back up. Clay Thompson grabs the miss. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Lobbed up there for Collins. And more than capable of making miraculous passes, George certainly a traditional guard in that fashion. Marking in against Kerr. And the rejection by Collins. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Collins. And the Jazz making a change here. Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by eight. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. Kaminga kicks to Kurt. It's deflected. I think this is the next step for marketing, right? The ability to improve your defense and become a real factor. Send it back. Thompson against Lewis. And the basket is good. Lewis has got the lead up to 10 now for Utah. And at this point, just sort of running through the paces, as it appears it'll be a nice win here for Utah the bench give him a big lift in this game well, listen Kevin anytime your reserves can perform at a level that high it puts you in an excellent position to win the game and this will make it 36 wins on the air for them and they put themselves into the driver's seat in regards to the season series with this team tonight's win will give them a two to one edge with only one left to play and guys one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance it was a big time outing for Lowry Markinen. Every inch of the floor was his tonight as he came out and injected an energy into every play. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've got hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. George looking over the floor. So we see the Jazz get the win here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. 
It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Jordan. Congrats on the win. Huge night offensively. What does it feel like to ride that wave? It feels good. My teammates, man, they were finding me. We were screening. We were playing well, moving the ball like how we're supposed to do and what we preach. Uh, then defensively, uh, we just did a great job. Uh, keeping guys in front of them. Everybody just pitched in and another great, great uh, team win. And you were a big part of that, man. Congrats. Back to you. Much appreciated, David. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.